Okay, everyone, I'm excited for this one. It's a big box, which means big prizes. Let's find out. Okay, everyone, I'm sorry again. You can't see George. Uh, the box is too tall and he's too small. Plus, you probably don't want to see him. He's looking very scraggly today. I mean, you need a haircut, you need a brush, you need... Oh, it's just so cute. Anyway, hi guys, welcome to the channel. Thank you for coming and uh, tuning in. Hopefully I'm doing this on a premiere, because actually when you guys are watching on a premiere, if you're watching right now, say hi. Uh, I'm there, I'm chatting with you guys, and I really, really enjoy it. Um, but uh, it's time to do a mystery box. So, I've actually left the knife down here. Uh, using Rogers and James's knife, it's now become the knife of the channel. I'm gonna use this until I've lost it. Um, so we'll call it the six mil badger knife, maybe? Roger, six more badger knife? Um, I don't know. George doesn't know what it is still. He's kind of very confused. But this, as you can probably tell, is a big box. Um, now, I'm a little bit mixed in terms of how I feel about that. So this one, in terms of which box it is, it is the Box of Awesomeness, obviously, Flash Edition. So it's one of the ones that pops up randomly. It's not like giving you a heads up a week in advance that this is when it's gonna launch. So these ones, generally, I would say, if someone tells you that there is a Flash box on the site, they're a bit easier to get as long as you hear that. Um, it's not as if everyone's sitting there waiting on their computers or their phones ready to check out, um, which I do find is an issue, or not an issue, but it's an issue for someone trying to buy it uh, with the other box of awesomeness. However, this one, um, it popped up, I bought it. Price on this one's $199. Um, in terms of the amount of boxes, uh, there were 314 boxes. So for a flash box, it's actually kind of the average price, $199. Um, it kind of tells you what you could potentially win and there were some good prizes on this one. As I said, 314 boxes. So however, most of the prizes were kind of cool. However, there are a couple there which you can kind of tell which are gonna be the big boxes. Um, and so, to be honest, I'm not that upset because uh, the big box equals an LMG, as I'm sure you're probably, uh, it's a better chance of getting an LMG because LMGs are big AEGs and big weapons. But two of the boxes had 80 winners uh, and those both had the Cybergun M249 Power Featherweight in them. So I kind of think that's gonna be one of the boxes. I don't know if you guys agree, if you don't, uh, put it up in the chat right now. But looking at it, it's obviously not that long, but it's really kind of, uh, it's tall. Uh, and so I know that when they have the M249 Para, they break it up a lot of the time and it's kind of in two parts. So I'm really thinking it's gonna be one of those because about half the boxes had one. So I'm kind of at the moment just hitting box of awesomeness is where I'm just getting the most common box. But to be honest, as I said, I don't have an M249, I don't have an LMG. And so when I saw that it was a big box, I wasn't that upset. However, value-wise, I don't think this is gonna be the highest. So, shut up, Six More Badger, stop talking, because we just wanna see what's in the box. I hear it, I hear it, I'm sorry guys. I try and stop myself talking, but I like the sound of my voice too much. Here, we're gonna open this up. I've got no idea what's in this, guys. Uh, there is uh, another box that just arrived, which is kind of really annoying, because there's a little gap here where the paper isn't covering, and I can see the box as I picked it up. And it's a box that I recognized, so it's very difficult for me not to look at the list of items to kind of work out which one it is. Uh, but I'm gonna be opening that one next, probably straight after this, so I can get another video for you guys done. So we'll see what it is. Right, guys, so as I said, $199 for this one. Flash Box of Awesomeness Edition 5. Uh, lots of paper, which is good. Uh, we have, sorry, packing slip, uh, which is not good because I'm showing you guys all of my stuff. And I think just from what I'm seeing down here, uh, I think that I was right. Um, first thing, just in terms of the color of the box. First thing is actually a pair of uh, shooting glasses. Uh, these are actually really good. Um, I actually always use my Oakley um, kind of shooting glasses instead of goggles. Uh, and I actually really like those just because they don't fog up for me and it covers enough of my eye that I'm not worried I'm gonna get shot in the eyeball. But I do go and play with a lot of friends and a lot of those friends don't have uh, eye protection. So this is kind of cool. Uh, it's that standard kind of goggle. You're not gonna get any BBs in here. It is actually brightening the light. So it's probably got that kind of green screen effect or sort of green screen, what is it? Uh, para. Put it in the comments. I know I'm gonna think of it as soon as I finish filming this video. Um, it's also got one of those little like strap kind of things where it's kind of rubberized material here so it keeps it on your head. 
So I think it's good, guys. I mean, it's not going to be most expensive, I'm sure. They probably didn't sell a huge amount of them if they're putting them into mystery boxes. Uh, but it's so good to have one of these just in your kit. So if you go and play with a friend, even if they're grabbing a rental gun, uh, some of those rental masks are horrible. They've been worn by 100 people. They smell like crap and they're filled with sweat. So uh, if you've got one of these to give a friend, they're going to be very, very thankful. So thank you, Levi. That's a good start. I'm not too unhappy with that. I think that might have been all of the boxes, though. Second thing that I think is going to be all in the boxes, and I've got a lot of them, but I still keep ordering my black ones because I keep losing them. Um, so it's great to have backups. Uh, so great, we're in California, we still have mask mandate here. Uh, right, it seems like there's two boxes in here. First box is a smaller one, so I'm going to pull this one out and I'm going to try and cover my thing here. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I got this one, guys, but I got like the VR version of it. You know, where you can actually put your smartphone in a little cradle above it. And then it was kind of like you had uh, battery shells that effectively, if you fired, it would almost auto shoot fire. This looks very similar packaging, which is why I say that. But it looks kind of cool. It's a shotgun. Um, yeah, it is cool. Um, the packaging looks a bit damaged from here. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see, it's kind of just the plastic thing. I hate this packaging, but it's ripped off. Uh, and it's actually got the orange um, tape on it. So it looks like it was maybe a return. Uh, or one that they had is kind of a demo that they put back into the box. Um, I'll put it out for you so you can take a look at it. If I can. Okay, it comes with another two shells. It looks like a speed loader and two sights. I'll put that down there so you guys can look at it later. It does feel quite cool actually. You know what else I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this box because then you guys can see the most important thing of the video, George. And you can also see me and you can see more of the screen so you can probably actually see what we're doing here. Um, so this thing actually feels kind of cool. It's very plasticky. Um, you know, like it's not that much weight compared to what a real shotgun's going to be. So realism wise, I don't think you've got it there. Um, it's got like a little um, a little rail on the bottom. It's got a top rail Picatinny, which is kind of good. Safe. Hmm, it's kind of cool. Um, I think this is kind of awesome, guys, because what I would say is if you're doing to CQB, like a close quarter environment, and I presume this fires three BBs. Um, try shot, yeah, so it fires three BBs. So if you're going around the corner and you just fire this, uh, in terms of a full auto SMG, it's probably gonna be better. Um, but it's not going to be, you're not looking for range in this, you've got a three baby spread. If you're just racking it and pumping it as you're going around corners, it is an effective weapon. Um, I mean, you can stick this on your back with a pistol or whatever it is, and if you need it, you pull it out. I love the short length of it, especially with the weight, because actually you can wield this around with one hand if you really need to. George, what do you think? Yeah, <laughs> turns his nose up at it. Um, but anyway, guys, I think it's a cheap little thing. Again, if you've got a friend uh, who's playing for backyard plinking, it's kind of awesome. Um, it is kind of, it just feels good. It's kind of got that rubbery kind of texture on it. I wouldn't say it's the most high quality plastic, but it's not, uh, it's not cheap, 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 you know. Uh, I'll be interested to see what the value of this is. I'd probably guess around $50 would be my guess, uh, but we'll find that out soon. So guys, it's, it's time to work out if I'm correct, and I think I am. Um, I can see the box, and so I'm not gonna kind of do a reveal on that, but I'll pull it out for you guys, and we'll open it together. What do you think of this, hey? Bigger than you, mate. It's like two, three times the size of you. Okay, so as you can see, FM Hurstal. So I am expecting this is going to be the M249 Para. Um, as I said, I actually quite want it. So here it is. All right, guys, we'll spin it around so you guys can take a look at what it comes like in the box. Um, so what I would say is when I was looking at buying an M249 and when I was talking to actually some of the guys I play with on the field, they were like, of course it's way cooler to have a middleweight or an actual like heavyweight M249, which feels like the real thing. However, when you're actually playing like 15, 20 minute games and you're putting a lot of fire down and you're running around and you're like moving a lot with it um, and you're not like having it in a leash, uh, strap or like kind of, you know, <coughs> hiking around with it as a regular soldier would, uh, it gets very, very tiring holding one of those things. Other thing is airsoft games are quite fast moving compared to real combat because obviously you've got like 20 minutes to capture a flag or whatever it is. So you are trying to move and cover fire with these things uh, and they are very effective. But as I said, like if you're trying to like pick it up, move, then put yourself in a different position to cover your teammates, uh, it's pretty difficult when the thing weighs like 20, 30 pounds. Um, this thing, 
feels great. Um, again, it's very similar to that shotgun. So I feel like this, this box, I should probably name it like the lightweight box. So we've got a lightweight shotgun and we've got this M249 Para. Um, what I actually think is very cool is that it's got this kind of skeletonized stock on it. Um, I'm not gonna try and attach this now, but it goes on like this, it looks like. And so then you bolt it in. He says as he drops it. Um, so it's gonna look effectively, guys. And again, this has got orange tape on it, so I don't know if they're just doing that for all their guns at the moment, because I have had my last few that have been uh, with orange tape, or if uh, they are just kind of their X demos and models where they've unpackaged them, so therefore they have to do that. Um, it's got the uh, bipod here. This is very plastic. I would say, feeling this and just how rough I play generally, I would say that that is in trouble. Um, it's probably gonna get snapped off. However, the other thing is, is that bipods, again, unless you're sniping an airsoft, they're not gonna do that much, you know what I mean? It's not as if you're getting that much recoil from the gun, where a bipod's gonna stabilize it that much. Uh, it's pretty much uh, gonna be, you know, as good. It's kind of pointless or not, it's just maybe weight saving. Um, you've got the handle, again, pretty cool. Um, I don't know if they had different colors of this, but I've got the all black model, which I think is awesome. Because um, it's the kind of standard. Yeah, so that just flips that way, that way, and that way. Uh, battery, I presume, is going to go in this front guard here. Wrong. It's going to go here, and that is really weird. Okay, guys, so this is my gripe right now. That is where the battery connector comes out. So if you can see that there, that's your kind of, uh, the internals, that's where your, your battery and like connector comes out. And that is basically just coming straight out into where this power stock is. So I presume you're gonna need some kind of extender to actually, there's the bolts to put the stock on. You need some kind of extender to actually get a bolt into a, all right then, you didn't like that, did you? So George is not happy. You need some kind of extender to effectively have a battery box or hook it into somewhere else. Um, but that's weird. If you guys know what the best solution for that is, let me know. Because um, I want to use this and that's not great, really, um, I would say. Uh, but guys, I mean, I'm not unhappy because I think one of these normally is about 300 bucks. Um, and so one of those is probably 50. I've spent 200 on the entire thing, free shipping. Um, so I don't think you can really be upset. Plus, um, I don't at the moment have a shotgun or a uh, M249, or sorry, a M LMG. Um, so that's pretty good for me, to be honest. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy that that's kind of filled a hole in my collection very well. Um, one thing I would say is it comes with this, uh, which is a regular mid, sorry, high cap magazine. Um, obviously with an M249, you're trying to put a lot of, uh, sorry, an LMG, you're trying to put a lot of uh, fire down as cover fire for your teammates. Uh, that's going to still hold 400 rounds, so it's actually pretty good. But compared to when you've got like a 1500 round box mag attached to this thing, that's really where you're going to use it. So it's great I've got it, but Evike have done very well because now I'm going to have to go onto their website, or well, not have to, but now I'm going to go onto their website and I'm going to buy uh, a hike, uh, sorry, a box mag for this, for this weapon. Anyway, I want to know, would you be happy with this? Would you be happy to get uh, this box? Obviously, as I said, it's kind of like one of 160 box. So it wasn't exactly like a, the best winner. However, I think it's a win. And that's what I would say with the Evite Box of Awesomeness is, is unless you're really specific about what you want to win, they're all going to be winners, really. Um, there's not many that aren't going to be. Um, so I've brought up the one that we have here. Okay, so I was a little bit off. Okay, I was a little bit off in terms of value. So the M249 is the Cybergun FN license M249 Para Featherweight Airsoft Squad Automatic Weapon Machine Gun Random Model. Uh, and this one was the price of 229 to 250. Um, so we got the Para, which has this stock. So I expect that would be the slightly cheaper one out of the two. Um, so I would say we're about 229 in value. Uh, and then the shotgun actually was, uh, this one's actually $75, not 50. So I would say if it was me and it was my own money and I was gonna go and buy it, uh, maybe buy it for 75. Um, but I'd probably be a little bit happier if it was around that 50 level. Um, need to test it and see what the performance is like. But if you tried this, let me know as well, guys. Um, so that one is 75 and then uh, apparently the goggles are $99. 
So I thought those were cheap guys. I thought they were kind of like, you know, your $30 cheap pair of goggles. Apparently they're pretty expensive. So $99. So I think the total value, what are we, 230 plus 75? Uh, it's going to be 305 plus 100 so we're $405 so I've doubled my money guys um, got things that I actually want I know if you had one of these already you had a shotgun you're probably not that happy so badger rating I'm going to give this a uh, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5 stars just because it's practically usable um, I've got two weapons one's kind of mid range one's short range I've got some goggles as long as I had BBs and a battery uh, you could actually go out and play um, so I like this box I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5 badger rating George I'll go see what he says. George, what are we giving it? Okay, he doesn't seem to like it. I think it's because it's so big, and yet it kind of is probably lighter than him, so he feels a little bit kind of uh, chubby or, or overweight in this one. It's all right, buddy. You've just got a lot of fluff, you know? Um, all right, so he's going to give it a one. No, sorry, a two. Two out of five George rating, uh, that's what we're going to go with. Um, so thank you so much guys for watching. Um, if I haven't said it before in this video, which I don't think I have, which is rare, if you could please subscribe, that'd be amazing. Um, if you don't want to, actually don't worry, worry. it's not a big deal for me. Uh, it's just kind of good to be able to grow the channel. And we've actually been stuck, I think, around two and a half thousand subs for a while, um, which is great. I mean, that's amazing. And I've only been running the channel for a year, so I'm really happy with that. Um, but if we could grow it a bit more, that'd be kind of cool, just because then I could do some more stuff. Uh, just get a bit more feedback about what you guys wanted. Um, join the Discord. Uh, that's probably about it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you on the next video. I'll see you on the next unboxing. Uh, and as always, let me know how I can do better. See you guys on the next one. Goodbye.